Yeah, now, our guests tonight are the stars of a magical new BBC drama called Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell, in which they both play magicians. So, I thought I'd use my newly discovered magic skills in order to introduce them. This is remarkably exciting. I can't tell you. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. I'm... Oh, 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 it's got music and everything. Hang on. Can I just say, I've had nothing to do. I don't know what's about to happen at all. You're my Debbie McGee. Ready? <laughs> OK. Yes, Paul. So here I have an ordinary box, <laughs> okay. a very sparkly ordinary box. Look, you can see right through it. You can even reach right through it. Oh, can I have a look? Can I have a reach? No, you can't have a reach. Okay. And it closes. You can see the back. Nothing to see there, is there? Nothing to see there? Just a lot of glitter. Very ordinary box. So how come is this inside it? Wow! Oh. Now then, you see, please welcome Eddie Marzen and Bertie Carver. Yeah. Well 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 you're going to be on a lot of talk shows talking about this drama. Was that not the best introduction you could ever Fantastic. wish for? Yeah. Do we get that power? If I kind of, is that? Wow. If I wave my hands around. Cause... Yes. Do we get this? You can keep you that. Can keep well, that. Know, it's not my trick, Al. Hey, to be honest, it's quite nice quality. That I'm it is lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. Oh, Very good. Alex Jones, everybody. Oh, One more time, Alex Jones. Alex, you have wonderful, magical, glittery fingers. I know where it all started. Yeah. But the reason, of course, you are travelling back and forth is because you're in a big US show called Ray Donovan. Yeah. So, but how do you cope with them? Because it's literally a weekly commitment. Well, like Len Goodman and Bruno, they do it, don't yeah. they, for the dancing programme? Strictly, program? but go on. Yeah. Well, I mean, someone told me years ago, um, try and have an ordinary life and extraordinary career. Uh, or don't have an extraordinary life, you'll have an ordinary career. And so that's what I try and do. I try and do my work, I pop in, I, I, I shoot Ray Donovan and then I fly back and I catch a rugby match or, you know, a, a parent evening or something or spend a night with my wife and, and, it, and you, you have to make the effort mm. because it'll all go wrong if you don't. You must be able to sleep on a washing line though. I can. I, 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 um, <laughs> I sleep on the, on, in the plane, I sleep. I, I, watch my breath for about 20 minutes, yeah. or I record myself talking about myself. <laughs> and then I'm off. <laughs> that is classic. That is brilliant. Now, if you've been travelling around the Lake District this week, or even just flicking through the paper, then you might have come across this. Now, this is a bridge which is made from 22,000 sheets of paper and weighs four tonnes. So we'll be walking across our own version in the rain. What could go wrong? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, but first, oh. uh, guys, you're going to like this because Marty has the story of a bridge in South Wales that magically appeared mm. overnight. Brilliant film. Thank you so much, Marty. Uh, so we've come outside and we're with Steve Messam. Nice to see you, Steve. Oh. And we've created a mini version um, of the bridge that is in Grisdale Valley in the Lake District. It's very cute. It's, it's beautiful. Now, now, Steve, you're an artist, so what do you hope people will take away from their experience in Grisdale? Well, when they go up to Grisdale, it's a very wild environment, and, and they all see this bright red artificial thing there, and, and hopefully it just helped to get them to slow down and, and, and just look at the yeah. landscape around it. Now, give us an idea of how this is constructed, because you put an arc underneath, don't you? Yeah, there's a form that goes underneath, and then the paper is just stacked up. Okay. Um, across the top. So right. there's no glue, there's nothing in there there's at all? There's no glue, there's no bolts, there's no nuts, there's, it's just, just paper. Is this safe, Steve? Because <laughs> we're about to find out. We're going to try out Let's Steve's the little ladder. one. Oh, um, if you out. want to try out the big one, it's in the Lake District, as we said, until Tuesday, and then the paper will be pulped and recycled. Are we ready? Ready. Yeah, are we, we are. Ready? Come on, you're the one who's trying out. Hold, hold me tight I've got now. Your, now, it might be a little bit wobbly. Go on out. Oh, go on. Oh, it's there! Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ready? Yes. Hang on. It's, are you low? You're getting lower. I'm getting, getting lower. lower. Quickly. Brilliant. Say goodbye. All right, then. That's all for tonight. <laughs> uh, a big thank you to Eddie and to Bertie. Tomorrow, Jamie Oliver will be arriving his very own bus. We'll see you then. Bye. Uh oh. Shall I? Shall I? I shall don't I know. Join you? I'm not sure. I'm are not sure. Are we ready? Oh. Hang on. Put your arms up. Ready? 